Okay, these things have, uh, what was it we were doing? We were soaking them in cold water for, what was it? Oh, for three hours. So now we're going to drain them. Drain these little cucumber rings. And then we'll get on with the next process. This is still day two, by the way. This is what you have to do after they've uh, soaked in that brine for 24 hours. And I'm going to dump them in my uh, little bit bigger container here because I have to cover them with, uh, with this next uh, solution. Which is going to be, we're going to use, uh, we're going to use, uh, we're going to use uh, a cup of vinegar, if I can get the vinegar open. Come on, there we go. Okay. Okay. Whew, smells good. And I don't know if you're supposed to use white vinegar or cider vinegar or exactly what. You know, it doesn't tell me on that recipe. And uh, so, you know, I'm going to use what I have. So, we're going to use uh, a cup of vinegar. Uh, what else we got? We got uh, a teaspoon of red food coloring, which is uh, about what I have in this little container here, probably. So I'm just going to use it all. You know, I figure if a little bit does a little bit of good, a whole lot do a lot of good. Okay, there's that. And now, uh, teaspoon of red food coloring, a teaspoon of uh, alum. That can be that right there. This is going to be about a, a teaspoon right there. And that's a half a tablespoon. Let me get my spoon right. Yeah, there's a teaspoon. Okay. Teaspoon of alum. Now I'm going to read this over and make sure that I got that right. Ah, okay. A cup of vinegar, a teaspoon of red food coloring, a teaspoon of alum, and enough water to cover. So we're going to put enough, add enough water to this to cover our cucumber rings. And, uh, and then, not quite over yet, and then, I don't know if we can get this started, and then I'll put enough water in the cup, I'll stir them up. Almost there, that's how I do it. All right. That's gonna cook. Now, what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna stir that up, make sure that vinegar and that alum and everything's all mixed up real good. Then, still day two now, the next step of the process is these guys have to simmer. You guys have to simmer for two hours. So I could let you sit here and watch them for two hours or I could turn the camera off and then come back when they're done. So maybe we'll do that. All right, see ya.